Hello, and welcome to Let's Play on Linux. This time, yet again, it's the winner of the Project of the Month for Linux Game Awards. And this time, it's OpenMW. Uh, this is a project to uh, bring Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, natively to both Linux, Mac, and Windows, while well, it's on Windows, of course, already. But uh, this will bring a native client to Linux and Mac as well. And the goal of this client is to be 100% compatible with the, the original client. So it will be able to run plugins, stuff like that, as long as it doesn't require external uh, executables. And as you can see, it was quite a landslide this month. Uh, I read somewhere on the OpenMW site that it was probably because they asked people to go vote for the project. And they have a lot of followers, including myself. I've been keeping an eye on this project for quite some time, and uh, it looks really promising. They're making strides constantly, working their way slowly, but very decisively to the goal. Uh, currently, the game is uh, on, uh, I think it's 0 0.28, if I don't remember wrong. We're going to check that in a second here. And this is going to be an installation tutorial. And later, we're going to take a look at um, how far they've come. And yeah, it's uh, 0 0.28 is the latest version. Uh, this is the manual. Just extract into a directory and run it installation but you can also install it from various repositories like a Debian repository uh, Ubuntu repository which would be most interesting to me as I'm running Linux Mint 16 and it's based on Ubuntu there's also an Arch uh, also in the Arch repository uh, I don't know very much about Arch there it might be in the user defined one or the public one and of course, you can also compile compile it from source if you want the actual latest and greatest. You can get their Git source and try the very latest changes. Of course, this will be more prone to bugs, regressions, stuff like that. Uh, for me, uh, the best way would be to add this repository here. So I will do that. And. Uh, Except for the way to get these, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, how you uh, install this, it's the same result. So it doesn't really matter. There, I've added the repository there, and now I need to do uh, apt get update. And then install OpenMW. It's a bit hard to type. Yeah, I don't know. Some might notice that I sound slightly different. My vo voiceover, and that is that's because I got a new microphone, a Snowball. It's called Snowball Blue. It's very black, though. Yeah. No, it's the Snowball from Blue. Sorry, the company is from Blue. I think. Okay, and install bin mw. So, uh, this is of course essentially a um, the engine only. They aren't making all the materials, textures, stuff like that. So you still need the original game. And there's various ways of getting that. Uh, you can, of course, buy it in Steam. Uh, you might have played the game a long time ago. You might have the discs, and you can actually get it from there. You don't actually have to have the game itself installed. You just need uh, these ESM files, the, like the package files for um, that the game uses, the data files, essentially. And so if you have uh, the discs, you there's uh, clear instructions of how to get them out of 
the CAD files on the CDs and stuff like that. I have uh, gotten it on Steam. Uh, I was gifted the... I didn't own Morrowind. I played Oblivion a lot and Skyrim, but uh, yeah, not Morrowind. So I was given a key for Steam. Uh, me, let's see here. Oh, that's my voice recording. Uh, and that's... You, to be able to get, get it in Steam, you of course need to have Steam installed in Wine. As you can see, I have Steam both for Linux and for Wine installed. It's not very hard to install, and there's plenty of tutorials out there how to do it. If you're going to buy the game, however, you probably want to install the Linux client to buy it, because I have uh, my experience is that buying stuff in the Wine, uh, Steam version that runs in Wine, uh, doesn't always work. Not for me, at least. But later, when it's installed, it, does, it just needs to download and install it. You doesn't, don't need to run it or anything. It just downloads the resources and that. So... See here, did we get a menu icon? Uh, no, that's what I'm recording. See here. Let's try this then. Open and W. Okay, I have figured out what's wrong. You also need to install the launcher manually when you add it through repositories like that. At least that repository. Installing just OpenMW doesn't actually install the launcher. So we install OpenMW launcher as well. Hey. Okay, so now the launcher is installed. There we go. Okay, so the first uh, dialog we get up here says that, oh no, we can't find the data files, but that's quite okay. Uh, the data files is, of course, in my Steam apps. Uh, normally you'll find these in like if you have installed it in wine it's gonna be in your home directory and then a hidden directory that is called dot wine and uh, under that it's gonna be drive C and under that program files uh, steam stuff like that I have created a shortcut here because I use it quite a lot and you can see if I mouse over here it's under my home directory dot wine steam 32 drive C program files steam steam apps and then we have common and we have Marwin there. And it's the data files I want. And let's see here, it doesn't want the actual file or... Marwin master file, yeah, there it is. Huh. And an existing Marwin configuration was detected. Yes. Uh, so this is essentially the ini file from the original game. I haven't made any changes to it because I haven't played that installation, but uh, the instruction says that you should import it because it needs some stuff from it. Anyway. And there we have the launcher. That wasn't very hard. And yeah, how this works. My graphics rendering subsystem open geo rendering subsystem vertical sync full screen anti-aliasing screen one I only have one screen resolution that's not gonna cut it I'll run in full screen and my full resolution Let's see a data file. Oh, select. Yeah. There, Marwin Esm. And uh, I don't know. I don't think it properly supports the expansions yet. I think it will, though. Well, I know it well, and the goal is that it should support it fully. But this is, I don't know, profile. So, let's see if it works. Oh, this looks. Like a game. Ah. 
quite interesting. So, next time, we'll see how far they've come implementing this. Thank you for watching.